the dragon egg, one of the rarest items in Minecraft, but you cannot touch it. Anytime you try to touch it, it teleports away. So how is it possible that you can mine it? Well, let's jump in. So here we are inside of Minecraft, and we are, of course, in the end where we have defeated the dragon, and we have a glorious, a wonderful, a delicious. Actually, I haven't tasted it because you can't actually cook a dragon egg into anything. It's like a, it's not an egg that you could eat. It's just a trophy. This is the dragon egg. This is what you get after you have have defeated the dragon. Any world only has one of them, so they are very, very, very rare. Let's switch ourselves into creative, or, or out of creative into survival mode. And if you ever try to punch this or really break it with, like, here's a diamond pick here, and I'm going to go ahead and try to mine this thing, you'll notice that it teleports away. Where'd it go? Particles went this way, but I have a feeling it didn't go that way. Oh, it went exactly the opposite direction of the particle, so that's wonderful. Okay, so here it is on the ground. Anytime you try to punch it, it will just teleport away and move on to another location. The easiest way to pick this thing up is to break it like an anvil or break it like a falling block because it is affected by gravity. So you'll see that it falls just like that. This is not, we are going to mine this thing, okay? So I'm, this wasn't just clickbait. We are actually going to mine it. But just let me show you, this is probably the easiest way to pick it up. Throw a torch underneath it, break the block that it is sitting on, and then it'll fall on that torch and then fall onto the ground, and then you can pick it up uh, just fine. But we are going to mine this bad boy. There is a possible way to mine it, so we are going to do it. But obviously, the conundrum is how do you mine a thing that you can't even touch? Because the moment that you try to grab it, it will teleport away and is bad news bears. You don't want that to happen. We gotta find it again, come back. You can also use a piston to break this thing, by the way. Uh, I know there's probably people in the comments like, ah, just use a piston to push it and break it. Yeah, you can do that too. Okay, let's go back over into the overworld, and we're gonna switch back into creative mode, and this is a little area I have set up to show how to break this thing. So, the technique we're going to be using is using the dragon egg's own behaviors against itself. So. Every time that you try to touch a dragon egg, and we're gonna spawn in a few here, it will try to teleport itself, and it'll try to teleport within 15 blocks in any direction, and within seven blocks above or below. And so you can kind of see it teleporting in a in a place, and then it will rest there, and sometimes it's way up in the air, and then it'll fall down. So if we can use that code to basically make sure that it has no possibility place to teleport to, then we can make sure that we can mine it. So the first option was basically to create a huge cube, a, a cube that has stuff, you know, that's all, it's all filled with stuff. So this is a 31 by 31 cube that is 17 blocks tall. That makes sure, wait, no, not 17, uh, seven tall, seven below. So I think it's 15 tall, something like that. And so if we put our dragon egg here, we switch into survival and we mine it, it sadly wants to continue on. Now, I have noticed sometimes you can catch it every once in a while, but no, it really, it just wants to keep teleporting over to the top. And I'm not exactly sure why this option specifically doesn't want to work, but it'll always keep teleporting around. But if you build that same cube above an ocean where there is no solid blocks at all, this will actually work. And so we've just dug down a few blocks here. Let's count one, two, eight blocks. So it's resting in the eighth block. Switch back into survival mode. And here, there's a moment that it may teleport away, but once it comes back, it realizes it can't go anywhere and Da, 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 da. just like the title and thumbnail suggested, you are able to mine a dragon egg and pick it up. We happen to have uh, two of them here, so we can... Uh, oops, uh, we broke a, a block, but that's fine. And boop, doo, 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 bam, there you go. You got your dragon egg. Now, I wonder, I've actually tried this earlier with a wooden pick, so it doesn't really matter what type of pick you use. So wooden pick will break it. It'll drop with a wooden pick. I wonder, can you break it with your hand? Can I? Come on. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, it went away. It's gone. Come on. I got, oh, no, apparently hand is not an option, but you can use a pick. Any type of pick, there you go. You're able to mine it up with a pick, but not your hand. 
There we go. Got it. Isn't that cool? I wonder if I can mine it with anything else other than a... Here, let's... Uh, can I mine it with stone? No. Cobble? No. Oh, it went up there. What the heck? Why didn't you not do that before? Why is now the time that you go up there? Okay, let's mine it with an axe. Okay, nope. Axe will not work. Dang it. Stop going up there. Uh, let's mine it with a hoe. Oh, a hoe. Oh my gosh. You're kidding me. Axe won't work. Fist won't work. But a hoe will. Uh-oh. Why did that work one time? This is bugged. This is weird. Something's weird about that. I think it's because I'm breaking the glass down here. Obviously, it doesn't work every single time. This is kind of a weird glitch. And, oh, there it is. There's the other one. And uh, a fun little way to sort of test around with uh, this dragon egg and find the ways that they break. But there you have it. If you really, really, really want to be able to say that you have mined a dragon egg, all you have to do is fill a gigantic area with glass over water, and then you will have the chance, the chance to, uh, to mine that. This is the command that I ended up using in order to create that glass area. And as you can see from the, um, from the chat room right there, this is 16,000 blocks. 16,337 blocks and maybe a few less blocks because you need to create a little trough down here in order to uh, actually build this. So, all, you know, that's all in a day's mining, right? I mean, that's like nothing. That would only be 255 stacks of, and, and, and some, 255 and a fourth stack of uh, glass. That's all it takes. That would only require about this much glass. Oh, I have some stuck in my, yeah, about this much. Uh, it's only five double chests full of glass oh i fell in my glass hole yeah that's it you know uh give or take a little bit i mean you don't actually need this last chest to be completely full of glass so like maybe like that much glass you just need only <laughs> this this much it's uh, come on you could pull that off in a day or two uh to get all this filled you know completely you, know, you can't leave any air gaps or anything otherwise the the dragon the egg may, may teleport around but there you go it's as simple as that in order to have your very own mineable chamber uh, to have your uh to have your dragon egg not teleport away and remember it doesn't work all the time it's a little bit glitchy so keep that in mind remember there's only ever one dragon egg for the world so better not lose it or better not go into creative mode and smack it with your hand as I'm doing right now. And there you have it. The one and only way that I know of to be able to mine a dragon egg in Minecraft. You would think that they would add more, you know, it's like you, you finally it, defeat the dragon. You finally defeat the dragon and you can't even mine that it's in the title Minecraft. You can't even mine the last thing that you get from a dragon. It's ridiculous. I do want to say a big thank you to Rad Dirty. I think I'm saying your username correctly over on Reddit for showing this off and and giving the inspiration for this episode because I did not realize that it was possible to actually mine a dragon egg up until that post on Reddit. So big thank you to you for showing this off. If you want to find that original post, that will be in the description down below for you guys to follow along and check out. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. I really hope that you found this episode enjoyable. If you did, please give this video a big old thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. And we'll see you on the next episode of OMG Craft. Bye. OMG Craft is selling merch. We have a gold foil t-shirt, ooh la la, and a t-shirt that mentions like a little thing that I like to say. So here we are inside of Minecraft. You can check out these pieces of merchandise in the description down below, and I'd really appreciate it if you got some.